Police dogs have an important role in the force to serve and protect. But what happens when they bite and injure? That's what two investigations in B.C. are looking into after a string of reported incidents. And as Tess Van Stratton found out, the number of cases province-wide is staggering. Police dogs are trained to attack. And a bite from one of these canine cops can be vicious. But it's not just fleeing suspects who get bitten. After this drunk driving crash in Victoria Friday night, an 11-year-old boy was attacked outside his home as a canine unit searched for the car's driver. Witnesses describe a horrifying ordeal. For no apparent reason, the police dog grabbed the child and wouldn't let go. The dog's jaw was locked and its handler was powerless to do anything to stop it. What happens in these kind of cases is it's really important to make sure that all the proper steps were taken to make sure that you know, it was alright to get the dog out and that sort of thing. And that's part of the overall process. Anytime someone is injured in interaction with the police, we make sure that everything was done right. Victoria police are now conducting an internal investigation into the disturbing incident. And the case is being handed over to the Office of the Police Complaints Commissioner for an external review. It's pretty rare for anyone to be involved with a police dog. Uh, even when, when chasing down a, a, a criminal who's running away, often a dog coming out will stop them. Uh, it doesn't happen too particularly often that anyone has any kind of encounter. But province-wide, the numbers are far more alarming. On average, someone's bitten by a police dog in B.C. every two days. The Pivot Legal Society, which helped launch nine lawsuits against police last month alone, says stats show that police dogs account for nearly half of all injuries caused by municipal police. In this case, the 11-year-old victim had to be rushed to hospital and needed stitches. <laughs> But his injuries could have been a lot worse. And police want to make sure something like this never happens again.